वेलकम टू एम सी क्यूज ऑफ सी ए फाइनल एस सी एम पी सेल्फ पेस्ट पेपर आई सी एस डिजाइन दिस सब्जेक्ट सो देर फॉर यू नो एवरी एलिमेंट ऑफ बिजनेस एंड दैट इज वॉट एवर दिस चैप्टर इज ऑल्सो ऑल अबाउट दिस इज ऑल अबाउट लिमिटिंग फैक्टर्स लेट सी टू डेज एम सी क्यूज ब्रिलियंट वन वी ऑल हेव डन क्वेश्चन ऑन दैट इफ यू रिमेंबर समथिंग ऑफ सी ए इंटर देन ऑल्सो आई थिंक यू विल बी एबल टू बी सॉल्विंग इट ओके लेट्स डू दिस इन अ प्रोडक्ट मिक्स डिसीजन विच इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर इन ऑर्डर टू try to maximize profits okay first of all what do you mean by product mix decisions product mix decisions are those decisions whereby a company manufactures more than one type of product say x1 x2 x3 and it is thinking which one to produce more which one to produce less so therefore overall profit in this case will be higher usually such decisions are accompanied by limiting factor limiting factor means there is something in short supply say machine hours or labor hours up and so on because if there was no short supply you will keep on producing infinite no of each and everything okay so in this case there is a implied assumption that there will be some resource in short supply so which factor should be considered the maximum in order to get maximum profit let's look at our four options first contribution per unit of the scarce resource used to make the product i'll tell you the meaning suppose machine hours labor hours these are required to make the product so contribution per machine hour contribution per labor hour that's option number a option number b contribution per unit of the product so not contribution per machine hour but contribution per unit c profit per unit of the scarce resource used to make the product and d profit per unit of the product now you have to try to answer the correct one think it of it's easy think it of now pause the video comment with the logic if you can or just the answer okay so you all have thought then something like this say that i had to be making product x1 x2 x3 but i had limited number of machine hours so then in that case which product should be produced first year so that product should be produced first that uses my machine hours to the best that uses my machine hours to the best so therefore that product will be the best one which will give me highest contribution per machine hour if labor hours was a limiting factor i would like to be using my labor hours to the best so therefore try to produce that product first that will give you highest contribution per labor hour if raw material is a limiting factor and suppose raw material is measured in kgs try to produce that product first which will give you highest contribution per kg of raw material c and d in any case is a nonsense answer because those deal with profit per unit beta there is no concept in this world such as profit per unit because if profit has to become per unit fixed cost also has to become per unit but fixed cost is not a per unit concept is a period concept whenever we produce one unit we don't incur fixed cost we don't incur rent we don't incur salaries we don't incur depreciations okay so there is no funda only such as profit per unit okay so c and d are crossed out contribution in this case will be worthwhile to consider but if something is there in short supply you have to try to use that to give you a small example think like this suppose your study leave has started okay tell me what is there in short supply so time is there in short supply so time is called as limiting factor or limiting factor or key factor okay so try to use your time to the best same way if in a company you want to be producing x1 x2 x3 but machine hours are in short supply try to use machine hours properly try to use machine hours properly means produce that product first that will give you highest contribution per machine hour if every machine hour gives me the highest total contribution will also be the highest that's what we are trying to talk of and that is whatever we are trying to deal with also now just to give you all one example i have made one example try to be thinking this will make sense suppose you went for say your paper 1 okay you went for your exam uh, paper 1 you knew question number 1 you solved it it was supposed to be a 10 marks question and you took bloody 2 hours for it but you solved that question okay now question number 2 is left which is of 20 marks 3 is left 25 marks 4 is left 10 marks 5 is left 35 marks so in all you have solved 10 marks question and 90 marks paper is still left okay that is one thing this is the total okay now there is one assumption in all such question that you know all the questions first okay so that assumption i am making okay you all can assume that you know the entire paper okay 
Now, for the question number two, you require 30 minutes. For question number three, you require 25 minutes. For question number four, you only require one minute. But then it is a 10 mark question. For question number five, you require 30 minutes to be solving. So in all, for solving all these questions, how much time do you all require? 86 minutes. But then total paper is of 180 minutes. Out of 180 minutes, how many minutes are over beta? 120. So therefore, how much time is left with you? Sir, only 60 minutes. Now 60 minutes, you cannot solve all the questions. So therefore, you will be thinking, no, sir, what to solve first? What to solve next? So therefore, at least in 60 minutes, I can try to get maximum marks. Okay. So tell me, what is in short supply in this question? Sir, time. Perfect. What is your aim in exams? So to get rank, no, no, passing, passing, enough. So in this case, that paper, that question should be solved first. That gives you highest marks per minute. That gives you highest marks per minute. If every minute will be used properly, totally 60 minutes will be used properly. So therefore, my ranks will be based upon marks per minute. That's it. Okay. Now, if you try to be seeing, let's compute that. 20 upon 30, 0.667, 25 upon 25, 1 mark per minute, 10 upon 1, that will give you 10. So therefore, these are 10 marks per minute, 35 upon 30 will be 7 divided by 6, that is nothing but 1.167. So therefore, which question should be solved first? This question should be solved first. That gives you highest marks per minute, then second, then third, then fourth, so on and so forth. Okay, it's a simple funda, what is there in short supply, use it to the best. So therefore, if there is any resource in short supply, then in that case, try to ensure that you use that resource to the best. So if machine hours are in short supply, try to be producing that product first that gives you highest contribution per machine hour. So out of A and B, I guess that is whatever fits in the description of A. So A should be the correct answer. Yeah, that's the correct one.